the Ferrari Museum in Modena and you see right here we have the Ferrari Dino 206 GT This is a Ferrari Dino It's a bit sunny in here so it's kind of difficult to film We have some engines here As you can see some engines This one here is a Ferrari GTO Evolution these engines here this looks like a V8 another one here just go around the other side here V8 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 4.3 litre V8 4.5 litre V8 Then we have another car 360 GTC Then we have more engines here. V12. God, look at this V12 here. Six cylinders here on this bank. Six cylinders. And another six, of course, on the other bank. This is an engine here, V12, 5 litre, 1984, amazing engine there, amazing. And another V12, 6 litre, amazing engine, 6 point. 6.262 V12 There we have another car F150 This is a Ferrari F150 As you can see race car V12 6.262 F150 2013 Then we go over here We have another one And 
1985, this is 1985 V6. Engines. 1974 3 litre V12 1990 3.5 V12 and another car here mm -hmm. it's the whole In this video I'm going to talk about the market and gold right now and we're going to talk about the levels in gold and the indices right now and the state of things. As you can see in front of us I have a gold trade right now that I entered a little bit late here. I was a little bit late entering. I should have entered here. Should have been here for perfection. I'm in the gold trade. My stop is at the red line. At this red line. As you can see. We're broken higher. As I always say to you. We push up. We consolidate. We take a breather. We take some rest. We push up again. We take some rest. We push up again. Now we likely take a little bit of rest. Then we push up again, we'll see. But uh, a nice trade here on gold. It's Friday, so um, people will be taking the profit off the table. But we're still early today. We're still very early on the gold today. Um, so it's early, like I say. So uh, get the first two or three hours in New York out of the way. Once New York opens, let's see what happens in the first two or three hours. Then maybe we'll take the profit. Let's see what's going to happen. But a nice bullish move here on gold. There are no levels for you to look at. I would watch 1260 though. But really there's no limit to the upside. Gold could go to 1270. There's, there's nothing stopping it here. We're now at the juncture, at the pivot point, where gold can move a lot higher now. Um, we're at the, at the point of a trend change, is what I want to say. We're, we are exactly at the point of a trend change. And a trend change here could mean uh, we're going much higher on gold. We'll have to see what happens. So... Uh, Watch gold this afternoon. I fully expect the junior gold miners and the gold miners uh, NUGT, ETF, Drexian gold miners will be up this afternoon. I'm sure of that at the open, straight out of the gate. The reason why gold is up this morning is because we're seeing some risk off. The risk is coming off the stocks and into gold, into the yen, into the safe havens. It's the rotation from stocks into safe haven now, so the risk is coming off. Wall Street is down, the German DAX is down, the Italian FTSE MIB is down, all the European markets are down this morning, the London FTSE. So we're seeing some profit taking, it's Friday today, we're heading into the weekend now, it's the weekend so I expect some people to take some profit off the table, so if the market's down, gold could push higher, also the dollar index is lower, this is helping gold as well, so we're seeing in general the dollar's down, we're seeing the US dollar down, we're seeing some risk off today. This is what is making this gold move higher. Don't forget the market is still in an uptrend now. I can have sold the market last night and had a nice 
100 points nearly to the short side, 100 pips move there, more on the European markets. Hindsight is easy, do not forget we're in a very strong uptrend and this market will continue I think minimum one more month, minimum, it could continue like this with this Trump trade for um, quite some time, let me tell you, it really could, but um, at the moment we're in a very strong bull market and don't get carried away to the downside because it's very likely that this correction today will get bought up and we'll be making new highs next week I fully expect and uh, it's been fantastic how in the morning I said oh this is going higher well you know the same day we're pushing higher we're making new highs fantastic trades we've had uh, on the market other things currencies have been very difficult to trade gold has been difficult to trade the last three weeks as I said the other day gold has been in this range from 1230 to 1240 for three weeks we've now broken out of the range and it looks like we're heading much higher so at the moment this is what everything points to is much much higher like I say so we'll see what happens with the dollar and the market at the moment we're um, heading a lot higher I think and gold going higher right now hope you have a great weekend a great day trading today remember early in early out don't don't pay on till the end of the day because likely the move will be in the morning in the US New York time I will speak to you in the morning have a great day trading brilliant trade there on gold being brought up again if you look here at the wick on the candle it's being brought up this is very bullish you see it's going higher and higher great trade there speak to you later have a great day trading um, please follow us on Twitter Instagram have a look like our posts please follow on Instagram and Twitter and like our posts and uh, follow on there please and uh, I'll speak to you in the morning please subscribe and like I mean please like subscribe and comment on the video please if this helped you if you found this helpful please uh, like and comment as I say do follow us on Instagram as well have a great day trading great day whatever you're doing Speak to you later. Adios, amigos.
Yeah.